Dear Diary, a lot of people keep asking me what being a fanger is about. I thought it would have been a hell of an easy question, but I was wrong. When I tried to reply, I stood with a sort of castial facial expression for two minutes, and nothing came out of my mouth apart from some weird noises I refuse to replicate now. I'm embarrassing enough my way. I don't know. I think it all started because of my damn laptop. I mean, it's not like when I started browsing the internet and discovering that I could actually watch whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, someone had put a warning sign that said, hey girl, no social life beyond this point. Nah, nobody did. I should create an app for it. I could become rich and start my own empire like an gossip girl. TBH, I mean, um, to be honest, how can you not be fascinated by certain storylines? I didn't plan on becoming addicted to madmen in boxes, high-functioning sociopaths, attracting demon hunters, charming bastard adopted sons, clever dwarves, psychotic cannibals, sick mech cookers, insane dead blonde guys, bow tie addicts, or even annoying physicists or student high maniacs. Still here I am, screaming like a little girl. Okay, maybe I am a little girl, but you got the idea. When something exciting happens to them, I mean, I was more excited for Sherlock's return from the dead than I was for my diploma results, and that says a lot. <laughs> but if it stopped there, maybe it could be considered kind of normal. You see? Shut up! Things started falling apart when I started seeing gift sets, reading fan fictions, and getting in touch with more and more people who felt the same as me. I wasn't bad. There were a lot of people even better than me out there. This made me feel better, I guess. But then, it was a downway spiral to a never-ending circle of fields and love triangles. Wait, too many shapes in this sentence. Anyway, so I decided that being a fanger is a lot like... Like being a kid in a candy shop. So many glittery things, so many sweet and sour sweets. Sometimes you shop run out of them. Sometimes for a while, sometimes for a long time. Damn, Moffat Caster and Jim Lollipop. Sometimes forever. But you get to meet other kids who love those candies as much as you do, and great friendships start. And there are obviously words between which one is the best and which one pairs the best with the other. And sometimes, just sometimes, someone get out hurt. But it happens quite rarely, and with some time you learn to avoid such useless fights. Because the truth is that, really, it doesn't matter as long as you don't force anybody else to eat a candy that he doesn't like. It's like Forcing someone to eat broccoli, nobody should be this nasty. I admit staying up all night to see an episode or wait for a book to be released and cry in the middle of the same night because of too many emotions altogether that my heart can't cope with might sound a bit disturbing, but don't you feel emotional when you go to a wedding or someone dies? Well, that happens a lot in my Fangor universe. It's just like real life to me. Like, well. I don't know if you understand, Diary. I don't think you've got eyes or ears to experience what I'm rising to you right now. And I'm pretty sure you can't cry or have emotions. Well, in fact, fiction, you probably would. Everyone suffers in them. Even in animated objects. Just for the saddest writer's fun. I mean, it's a whole world. A whole freaking emotional universe where your favorite characters rarely end up happily ever after most of the time. But what can I say? Good things come to those who can't wait. Right? Right? In conclusion, I don't know what being a fanger is about. It's probably it probably looks like an excuse for staying in front of my computer eating crappy food while tears I do my shitty makeup watching some episodes of some damn weird TV series wrapped in my duvet for days and nights and other days. But I can assure you that it's a lot more. I can't say what, but it is. Trust me on this. So, yeah, I gotta go, I got a couple um, or like a dozen episodes to watch in half a day before doing something with my life today. Yes, I'm doing something. Today is that day. Today I... Okay, never mind. Write to you soon, weirdo. Hope you understood my rambling. Sincerely, just a small-time girl living in a lonely world. I meant... Me.